More than a hundred strikes have been inflicted on Idlib city since early this morning. Despite statements of some Turkish military analysts that Russia would not dare to launch a military operation in Idlib city, fearing a response from Ankara, it became known that over the past day, the Syrian army and Russian aviation have inflicted more than a hundred missiles and artillery strikes on Idlib city, destroying the positions of the militants and preventing them to create new fortifications. In fact, we are talking about the beginning of the assault on Idlib city and the military ground operation of the Syrian forces, which may begin today, or on Sunday. In the presented images you can see the moments of the blows, at the same time, the attacks were carefully planned by the Syrian military, while the Russian aviation finished off groups of terrorists who managed to escape, preventing counter-attacks on the positions of the Syrian troops. Among other things, sources claim that Iranian forces are also taking part in attacks on militants in Idlib city. Although, Tehran doesn't officially advertise its participation in the military operation in northwestern Syria. Moreover, available data indicates that Iranian soldiers are also involved in the attacks on Idlib city, since strikes from one of the directions were delivered by Russian-made ammunitions Krasnopol, which were previously actively used by Iranian forces against militants in Idlib city. Meanwhile, the Syrian media reports that the Turkish army is completely demoralized by the attacks of the Syrian army and Russian aviation, and urgently retreating deep into Idlib city. About two days ago it became known that Turkey began to withdraw its troops from the southern part of Idlib city. However, as it turned out, these troops were sent to the central part of the Syrian city. We are talking about several dozen units of armored vehicles, including tanks, multiple launch rocket systems, armored vehicles. Nevertheless, the Turkish troops managed to hold out in this part of the city for only a day. After numerous strikes by the Russian aerospace forces, Syrian artillery, and tactical missile systems, it became known that the Turkish troops were forced to begin a new retreat from Idlib city. Obviously, Turkish troops are afraid of being hit by Russian aviation, since the presence of the Turkish military in these areas has not been coordinated with Russia. According to some reports, the demoralization of the Turkish military is closely connected to the fact that Russian aviation and Syrian troops attacked territories in the immediate vicinity of the deployment of the Turkish military. You can blame only Turkey for that one, since Russia has repeatedly warned Ankara about the start of a military operation and gave time to the Turkish side to withdraw its troops. Let me remind you that about a year and a half ago, due to such actions of Turkey, more than 30 Turkish soldiers were killed in Idlib city. According to experts, even after the talks with Putin, Erdogan decided to go for a trick and again sent his troops to Idlib city. Nevertheless, more than a hundred strikes on areas, where militants are located in the immediate vicinity of the deployment of Turkish troops have become a very serious signal to Ankara. And, it is precisely for that reason that Turkish troops began to retreat from Idlib city. According to preliminary estimates, just over the past day, up to 500 militants in Idlib were destroyed by strikes from Russia, Syria, Iran, and local armed formations.